Well, next up for repair is a Kenwood KA31G integrated amplifier. Supposedly it has an intermittent on one of the channels. One of the channels sometimes just cuts out out of the blue. So the first thing we're going to do is check for DC offset. There's supposed to be no basically you can say about almost zero DC voltage here if you measure across the uh, positive minus loudspeaker pins. This has like a, uh, a dual supply, dual power supply, putting out positive and negative voltages. And this is supposed to be again about zero. If it's um, a lot higher, then definitely we know we have a problem. So let me just check that. And that seems to be okay. That's a fairly good sign. And right now I'm feeding in some music. I'd say it sounds uh, okay, but I'm gonna monitor it long term. So here's my setup. I've got the um, volume turned down if not you would hear the music that I'm actually feeding in I'm feeding the music through my phone through the tuner input and one of these channels of course is supposed to be cutting out from time to time so what I'm doing is monitoring the signal at the volume control and if I know if the signal cuts out um, while I'm monitoring it I'm going to take a look at the oscilloscope and see if I'm getting signal up there. If there's not, if say one of the channels cuts out before the volume control, I'm going to be able to see that up there. And if I can still see a signal, but one of the loudspeakers is no longer working, then I know the problem is after the volume control. Here's the music when it's turned up. I can't turn it up for long because of the, I guess, copyright issues. So you can see, so basically you, you can uh, hear that. What I'm going to do is separate the loudspeakers, put them somewhat further apart. So I can readily tell if one, uh, if one signal suddenly goes missing. Again, if I hear one loudspeaker out, I'm going to take a quick look at the oscilloscope. And then I'm going to go ahead and see, okay, I've got a problem before the volume control or after the volume control. That's my uh, troubleshooting approach. And right now you can see the signal being, the music signal being monitored. So since I had to use my phone, I had to change my tactics. Now I've got a regular um, audio generator hooked up. So I couldn't find any problems. Now what I'm going to do next is clean up all the switches and uh, all of the volume, all of the various different uh, controls such as the volume control and stuff like that. And you can see here, this is a thousand hertz sine wave that I'm now feeding in. I had to uh, use the phone meanwhile and I just let the audio generator run. And of course I removed the speakers, if not you got that loud, uh, that loud noise coming through the loudspeakers. And so far nothing out of the ordinary. So as I said, I'm going to go ahead and do a cleanup of the all of the contacts switches and controls now of course in order to spray in all the pots here I just use whatever opening here that presents itself of course I got the power off and then basically I just work everything back and forth I used to have a little uh, a little the tip of a syringe here which I had cut off before and had inserted into one of these um, one of these straws here and that way I could spray like in a really I could spray in a really fine area but I, I must have lost that the only problem I might have here is these switches right here but um, I'm gonna go ahead and stand 
stand it on its back and then see if I can dribble it down in there. Theoretically, I could also always make a hole in here in plastic, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to go that route. And that would, <clears throat> once I'm done there, I'll give it another little check out and then that'll be it.